All right, so I've got to go visit family today. Um, we'll are sleep in, so I'll try to be at least somewhat quiet. But um, I've been playing around with uh, the new build and everything since they brought out Endgame and stuff like that. And I was going to play as a pig and just get some of these items off of her real quick, you know, my add-ons and then my burnables and stuff like that. And um, I was just going to use up both of my jigsaw pieces today and then go ahead and prestige her. But then I realized that she's actually got three survivor puddings I didn't think of. So um, we're going to be playing as my my poor nerfed baby girl. They, they ruined her. The headsets, they're not as good. Um, yeah, so again, they... She has issues keeping people in map now with the headsets because people decided that they were going to patch that and make it a little bit easier to play Survivor against her. I mean, of all the times that I've actually played against Pig, I've never gotten a game over, and I didn't actually have a whole lot of problem with her keeping me in map. The only time that that ever became an issue was when... We had a random on our team who saved me from the hook and activated my timer. Well, he activated the timer by completing a gen while Cookie and Dragon were trying to like get gens to 99. And um, he activated a gen that they had been working on, came over and immediately pulled me off the second that I got put on rather than letting the pig leave. So she was just bleeding me out. And then, of course... Um, that actually happened to be the last gen, so they got the exit open. I told them, go ahead and leave. I'm going to try to go for hatch. And, um, yeah, it didn't work out because I was just slugged and then she hooked me and I died. But um, that was the only time that that was even remotely an issue, and that was just because somebody else was being stupid. So that was just um, somebody using the killer's ability inadvertently with the help of people being stupid. So it's a thing there. It's just annoying that they don't keep people in map anymore, so they're literally just the early game distraction and hoping that somebody will... Because, I mean, they, they are 2 minutes and 30 seconds by default, so if you can get it active and then not have them constantly in a chase or something like that, they've got 2 minutes and 30 seconds to get that thing off their head, and if they're, if they're lucky, they get it off right away. If they're unlucky, it takes a whole 2 minutes to get it off, which is 2 minutes that they're out of play it's i mean it's basically the same as just having somebody hooked the only difference is that uh you probably already hooked them and then they've just got another cooldown on top of you know like the idea of the legion them needing to mend and then also needing to heal just adding more time that they're not on generators and that's um that's basically all they're used for they're just distraction stuff to keep people off of generators which is why using her as a three gen is actually it's always been effective. It's just mm, one of the only strategies that it leaves her with is just trying to keep people off of gens as much as possible, which is fair because, I mean, her perks are, what are they? They're surveillance, make your choice, and then the hangman's trick. So that's, it's literally like keep the hooks that I've already used active so that way I can stay and keep an eye on my generators and if somebody does go and mess with something I can screw them over so that's yeah that's that has a cooldown of 40 seconds it's triggered for 40 seconds and it's 32 meters away is that is a level up from that actually decreased distance let me look this up um, make your choice Is it distance decrease? Because it'd be cool if it was like 28 and then 24 meters. The current one is... Oh, interesting. That's that's weird, because that's... Then you've got a choice of if you want it to last longer on them. <sighs> Sorry. Or if you want it to have a slower cooldown. So it's 32 meters no matter what, but it's 40 seconds of exposed and then 40 seconds cooldown. And then when you get up in levels, it's 60 seconds cooldown and 60 seconds effect. So the longer the effect, the longer the cooldown, but they're one for one. So it's just a matter of if you think that you're going to want them exposed longer or if you're just going to want to re-up it. 
I mean, you could specifically not level this up and try to keep it at a shorter amount. I don't know why you would do that. I, I still think the 60 seconds would be best for the most part. And I do believe um, her dash attack will insta down people who are exposed. So that's neat. Um, I gotta remember she's got barbecue and chili. I always forget to do that. Like I'll, I'll hook somebody after winning a chase against them because she's she's a pretty quick chaser. Um, just because you can usually start off with that one hit. I basically play her like Michael Myers. Well, I play Michael Myers in a very similar way to how I play Pig, which is get that first hit in without them being able to do a whole lot in defense, similar to Wraith, um, and then just get that one hit in the chase and you're good. And you know, sometimes they're just, they're out in cold wind and running through the cornfield and run right back into you, which is fantastic, you down them right away. Oh, so we didn't even have to burn apart. Why is it so fucking dark in here? Oh, it's just this room. All right. So we've got the three gens up here, which is the way that we're going to go ahead and try to play this. Because that's, that's how you play the game. There's somebody down there. Alright. What is my... I'm just going to come down here and hit them if I can. Okay, I'm just gonna smack this and get back upstairs. I really want to keep my three gens up here, so I'm not gonna fuck around too much. Go fuck yourself. stupid. There you go, regress that generator. Did you want to try that again? Seriously, he runs back into them and I still get hit by it? He got closer to me and I still couldn't dash through that shit. I see you fucking healing down there, you piece of crap. Little shit taco. Okay, this one hasn't been touched. That one's still regressing. Good. Just want to come check on this bad boy. Alright, good. I want to see if I can headset somebody. Let's see that same gen. Run into me. There you go. Let's just regress this a little bit. Go fuck yourself. The fact that I can't spin faster than them with my... How the fuck is my mic messing up? What the hell? Oh, it fell out. Did it fall out? There we go. That's back in. My mic fell out. stairs. Crunk be geeked. Come here. 
Nobody's on my other generators up here. I'll go ahead and do a chase and hit you. That's fucking bullshit. There we go. Now his pallet's gone. Did he actually hit that skill check? I didn't hear a pop. Okay, first of all, he's doing a little jitter when he's moving that isn't from his actual, like, purposeful movement. And that's annoying. Yeah, I'm on this side of it. I don't want to be on this side. Fuck you! He's trying to show off now. Alright, fuck you. I got one down there. That's not the one I just had him on. I'm wondering why this one wasn't making noise there for a second. Cause I got close to it. I've got surveillance on. I should have been able to hear it. Yeah, go downstairs. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Alright, this isn't good. They're clearing out my generators down there. I've only got one on the bottom floor. Go fuck yourself, Tap. Watch Fang actually be on my generator and screw me over with that. What the fuck was that bullshit? There you are. up here, which is unfortunate. I'm gonna face camp your dumbass. I give zero shits. I give none of the shits. Zero. You're an asshole. The fact that they put places in the map like that where it just sits there and is a piece of shit the entire time is fucking stupid. So I dedicate yourself to this chase and lose a generator no matter what. Well, I did, finally, and I did lose a generator because that's the way that they went ahead and made this map. So I'm going to stand right here and I'm going to grab somebody if they try to grab you. Is that cool? Good. Fuck you. right here in front of you because you don't deserve to live got it Good. now you're at half hi oh bullshit I was far enough away what's up bro Oh, bullshit. Swing! How the fuck did I not hit her again? Fucking body blocking.
Wait, his headset's active. Does he know he doesn't need to take that off? I don't think he knows he doesn't have to take that off. Hang on, he's trying to find Hatch. It's not up here, bro. Oh, he's obsession. He's probably got decisive. Nah, go fuck yourself. I'm not gonna let you decisive me and manage to jump down below and get the hatch or any shit like that. You can get claimed by the fucking entity. I don't even give a shit. Maybe I should set a video to upload or something, because whenever I play, I just, I get lagged back and the killer hits me through pallets and shit like that. Of course, they, they made it harder to do that, so I can't fucking do it anymore, but of course, the second I go and play with other people, they're going to have shit enough internet connections that it actually will work for them. into Legion. I'm not reading that. Oh, do I want to take that one? Yeah, I can have that one. I'll just take the brand. Unrelenting or Spice from the Shadows. Oh yeah, that's right, they buffed that, didn't it? Yeah, it's, there's no more... It's not a chance, it's within 24 meters. down to five seconds. I mean, it's the only one here, so I might as well just grab it. Grab the other yellow one. Damn it. Why'd that connector have to be there? Alright. I'll head back on over to Pig here real quick. get another survivor pudding. You know what, let's message them and go ahead and give them the knowledge that you don't have to take off the headset anymore. I don't know what EU's got to do with it. Maybe connection? Was he trying to claim that I was lagging or anything like that? Because I wasn't lagging. He very clearly got off pallets that I probably should have been able to hit him on. So he's he had good connection. I don't like that they... Can I actually view the updates while I'm waiting for a lobby? Why do I have main music lower than menu music?
it is. I mean, there's not really a whole lot of point. Headphones, what is the difference with that? Calibrates for stereophony, audio balance for headphones or speakers. Watch. Oh, so it's only if the trap is active and you leave? Oh wait, so would that mean, if they actually are correct about this, also they're being toxic as fuck, but if they actually are correct about this, that would mean that the ash that I had down in cold wind, the trap on his head wasn't active specifically because he was down. So if I wouldn't have had him down, he wouldn't have been able to leave. I don't get why people are so toxic with this game. I mean, when I run around as a survivor, I'm not sitting there like, oh, I'm fucking better than this killer and shit like that. I mean, I say it because I'm happy about the fact that I'm managing to actually avoid them, but I lose a lot of fucking chases as a survivor. I usually don't win them. I I'd probably just have to get better at reading the map a little bit more since they had changed them and everything like that. Because I remember it, it used to be like, you just... Obviously, at first, when the game launched, it was if you're in this part of the map, you can lead them forever. Um, you know, like, the buses on, um, McMillan, uh, what else? I think they were in Azarov's, too. Or not as yeah, no, Azarov's. Um, in that one, um, what was it? The, that big giant shop place that had, like, all three windows, and then I got pissed off when they, like, they changed it so that way there was only one window and like the entity would claim it and shit like that because you could just hop back and forth between the uh window that was like super far away and if the killer actually bothered to come walk through that window you would just jump in through one of the other ones so they were like yeah we gotta balance that we gotta balance a whole lot of other shit um just to keep people playing killer like that's all they want is for people to play killer they don't want people to win as killer they want the survivors to feel like they have like a really good fighting chance the entire times Turns out you're one of them. Don't be toxic showing off then. Yeah, I, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I only tunnel or face camp people when they are the most toxic people. Like, if they're gonna sit there and try to heal in front of me after dropping a pallet or something like that, they're not in it for survival, they're in it to be a dick. I feel like Yamaoko Estate might actually be pretty good for Pig. Just because there's so low visibility with all of this crap around. <laughs> How did I not hit you? Ah. Oh, didn't grab him? Seriously? Okay, I appreciate your attempts, sir. At least he wasn't a dick. He tried to, like, get back across that. Alright, let's just play this fair. I want a good, clean game. I'm just gonna hook you up here real quick on the hook you were trying to destroy. That's just a little bit of karma for you, and I'm gonna keep moving, okay? Nobody's on this gen. Somebody on this one? Yep. I hear two people. Oh, okay, I fucked up this chase, or this chase already. They definitely decrease the amount of um, stuffers that you can do with uh, hitting people through pallets. I'm, I can't really complain about it because it was 
minorly OP. It just bothers me that I can't do anything anymore. I didn't tunnel you, but I saw you healing and you were already an easy target. Plus the chick literally had a flashlight and she didn't come over to use it on me, so here you go. I'm on this side? Damn it. Alright, let me damage this and I'm gonna go over ahead and check that other generator. The one that they had over here. Okay. That's cool. I didn't try to tunnel you, but I mean, she literally tried to grab you the second I had you up, so I'm terribly sorry about this, but you're dead. You can still hang him. Let me hang him. That's fine. Who's the person with the flashlights down? Oh, I don't think I got it in time. Damn. Right, so that person's crouching way over there. It's definitely the other Meg, because there were two Megs on that generator. The Francis is almost dead. Why am I hearing that so loud from over here? It's weird. And then, of course, we got this Dwight. Oh, she tried to struggle. She's given up, I think. I was about to say, why am I seeing an outline? It's because they were healing. Hang on, somebody was just healing over here. They run to. Look, I'm not trying to tunnel you, I swear, but seriously, the constant, like grabbing you the second I put you on a hook. I don't know why all of a sudden the one game is just absolutely terrible. One guy keeps me the entire time, and then this one, everybody's just hugging. It's like one big group hug at this point. Okay. Oh, you're still on it. Damn. Got that sprint burst. Francis got his headset off. See, these. This is the way that chases should work. There shouldn't be like, a, oh, I can just waste a shitload of time while this person's chasing me. Maybe with the slower killers. But she's not a slow-running killer. Just redirect there real quick. Why would I not immediately turn and get the guy who's sitting there grunting in pain? I'm... I shouldn't say people complain about me tunneling, but Cookie had mentioned that he's seen me tunneling. Why are you searching a chest? He's seen me tunneling in videos and stuff like that, and the only time that I tunnel is when it's literally the most convenient way of getting a kill right away. It's not like I'm trying to be toxic about it. It's just that somebody literally came over. And basically submitted to being hit or somebody else fucked them over. Like as a team, if you're playing with somebody else, you should know not to grab somebody right away. And if you are by yourself, don't pull somebody off the hook while in terror radius. I don't know what the fuck people think they're doing. On the bright side, since Francis got up his headset, I'll be able to put one on everybody. And the hatch won't spawn. Oh no, did they ch I think they did change it. They changed it so that way the hatch always spawns, maybe? I think it would be more fair if they left it at, you still need three generators. Because then if you absolutely decimate, you don't get that one person who still just gets to leave for free. I'm not gonna tunnel you. Just because I literally want both of you injured. And with headsets. Because if a generator ends up completed and the hatch opens, it's still active. So if I can close the hatch, 
then I've still got you guys wearing headsets, and I can test the theory that if it's active, it won't work. So headsets aren't active in the dying state, which might have been why Ash was able to escape on me that one time. Oh, but you're dead hook, aren't you? That's fine. She got her headset off, but she's still injured, so hopefully I can get close to some of these. Oh, she's over there. She's crouched, but she's not healing. Okay, the hatch does spawn no matter what. That's fine. I didn't try to be an asshole that game at all. It was just really unfortunate the way that it happened. Where's the hatch? I kind of want to close it. There it is. Oh, there's an exit gate right here. I'm not going to get there in time. I might have if I had walked straight from the... Nah, I wouldn't have. Alright, let's see that message from Kronk. Don't be garbage, Lamau. He's clearly insulted. Right. I double pipped from that, so I. I recovered from the last game. 